hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys an amazing recipe using natural ingredients such as herbs and spices to grow your hair extremely fast if you're new to my channel hi welcome in this channel I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients so before we jump right into this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to click on the bell notification so each time I upload new DIY videos for hair growth you will be the first to watch so let's just jump into this video so the first natural ingredient you're going to need is horsetail horsetail helps to strengthen and improve cell turnover which improved the circulation leading to the improvement of hair follicles and it helps to stimulate hair growth using herbs such as oxtail will result in better overall health and improve the blood circulation and blood circulation improve the condition of both scalp and hair follicles it has also been shown that oxtail can encourage hair growth and the thickness of your hair. It's also amazing for hair loss and scalp inflammation. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of oxtail into the mason jar. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is rose petal. Rose petal are amazing for our hair. They contain antioxidant property which can help to nourish your scalp and promote healthy hair overall. Rose petal can be used as a natural cleanser and conditioner for your hair and scalp. Rose petal can also deeply moisturize your hair and prevent hair breakage. It's amazing for dandruffs, itchy scalp, and it's going to improve your overall health of your scalp and your hair. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of rose petal the next ingredient I'm going to be adding is rosemary. I'm starting to love rosemary because it's so effective when it comes to hair growth. I'm going to be using fresh rosemary leaves. You can also use the dry rosemary leaves, but I would suggest always use the fresh rosemary leaves because I feel like the fresh rosemary leaves infuse quicker compared to the dry one but use whatever that works best for your hair type rosemary has many benefits for our hair rosemary promotes hair growth it improves blood circulation rosemary can help to prevent dandruffs dry scalp itchy scalp and it can moisturize your hair and scalp as well rosemary can improve the overall health of your hair and scalp using rosemary in your hair care routine can prevent hair fall hair breakage boost hair growth like crazy and stop hair loss the next ingredient I'm going to be adding is mint leaves. There is a reason why mint leaves are used in so many beauty products and hair care products including face wash, shampoo and hair conditioner. Mint leaf is extremely beneficial for your hair. It's loaded with many benefits that can help with scalp infection, get rid of dandruffs and fight against hair fall. Mint leaves are great to treat oily scalp. Mint leaves can also prevent hair shedding and promote hair growth. The final ingredient I'm going to be adding is cloves. So when it comes to cloves, I'm the queen of cloves, okay? We love cloves on this channel. I use cloves in all my DIY because it contains so many great benefits for our natural hair. It contains antioxidant and anti-inflammatory property that can help to treat your scalp, especially if you're experiencing itchy scalp, dandruffs, cloves is amazing for that clove is also amazing at boosting hair growth it prevents hair fall and air breakage if you're suffering from thinning hair i would suggest you should add clove to your hair care routine your hair will be thicker in no time as long as you're consistent using it so what i love about this oil is that all the ingredients we added are all natural ingredients and all the herbs have similar properties which are amazing for our hair and our scalp especially if you're trying to grow a long and healthy hair 
so the first oil I'm going to be adding is grapeseed oil you can add any oil of your choice I'm going to be making this for my daughter and she has a low porosity hair grapeseed oil is a lightweight oil it's very easy to penetrate into your hair shaft if you have thin to fine hair I would suggest try grapeseed oil it's a great choice for thinning and fine hair the next oil I'm going to be adding to this hair growth oil is almond oil almond oil is also a great choice for thin to fine hair almond oil can make your hair stronger and less prone to split end almond oil also contains vitamin E I'm going to be adding one cup of almond oil I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of castor oil. Castor oil has many benefits which include promoting hair growth, strengthening your hair and nourish your hair and scalp. You can add any oil of your choice. Add any oil that works best for your hair type. So add the amount of oil you need depending on the amount of oil you're trying to make. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix all the ingredients together. Once I'm done mixing all the ingredients together, I'm going to go ahead and place the mason jar into the pot of a boiling water. So today's video, I'm going to be doing the double boiler method. I'm going to allow it to infuse into the oil for about 45 minutes. So guys, if you're still watching this video to this point and you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to click on the bell notification so each time I upload new DIY video for hair growth, you will be the first to watch. As I said before, in this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to boost your hair growth. So if these are the type of content you like to watch, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. After 45 minutes, this is how the oil looks like. So at this point, you can go ahead and use your oil or you can also infuse it for 24 hours or longer. So for today's video, I'm going to allow the oil to infuse for 48 hours. So the longer you leave the herbs to infuse in the oil, the better. Sometimes I do leave the herbs to infuse for up to a month or two months as well so it all depends on preference do whatever works best for you after 48 hours of infusion this is how the oil looks like now your oil is ready to be used you can go ahead and strain it out in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the best way in which you can use this oil to boost hair growth and to lock in moisture this oil smells divine seriously is smelling amazing due to the fact that we added rosemary it smells amazing guys you guys need to try this and let me know what you guys think so make sure whatever you're using to strain this oil out has a very tiny hose because you don't want to have any particles in your oil so guys if you're still watching this video to this point and you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to click on the bell notification so each time i upload new diy video for hair growth you will be the first to watch so once i'm done straining this is how the oil looks like the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is peppermint essential oil so this part is optional you don't have to add it it's up to you use whatever essential oil you have use whatever essential oil you like okay so as for me i love peppermint essential oil the smell is just amazing apart from the smell it's also amazing at increasing blood circulation, potentially improving hair growth and preventing hair loss. It strengthens your hair and treats your scalp as well. So you don't need much, few drops should be fine. You can pretty much use this oil anyhow you like. You can add it to your deep treatment. You can use it as an oat oil treatment. You can use it as an overnight treatment. You can also use it to seal in moisture to your hair which is the method I'm going to be using in this video so the first thing I did was I went ahead and apply my cloves 
fenugreek and rosemary hair growth spray to that section if you don't have this hair growth spray you can check out my channel i have different diy hair growth spray on my channel so just pick whatever you think that your hair would like and make one for yourself or you can also use warm water to saturate your hair make sure to always apply hair growth spray or warm water to your hair before applying any product so once the hair is fully saturated with the hair growth spray then i went ahead and applied my diy hair growth butter use any leave-in conditioner of your choice okay always moisturize your hair to avoid hair breakage as i said before you can use your hair butter or your favorite leave-in cream so I usually moisturize my girl's hair every two days. I wash the hair weekly with shampoo. Deep treatment every two weeks without shampoo. Hot oil treatment every two weeks. It's a lot and it can get overwhelming. I'm not going to lie, but um, it needs to be done. I noticed if I don't follow the schedules, okay, the girl's hair get really tangled up and um, to be honest with you it gives me anxiety because then it takes me hours just to um detangle the hair but if i follow the schedule everything seems to be fine i don't get panic attack but if i don't my god like i get extreme panic attack because i spend hours and hours trying to detangle the hair and minimize hair breakage as well once i'm done applying my diy hair butter i went ahead and applied the oil to the hair you can apply this oil to your edges as well especially if you're experiencing hair breakage if you're going to be applying this oil to your edges don't forget to massage your edges as this help to boost hair growth so guys as i always mention in all my videos consistency is the key all my recipe works only if you're consistent if you're using natural ingredients and you want to see improvement you have to be consistent make sure you're using it as often as you can and you will see a result once i'm done applying the oil to seal in moisture i put the hair in a simple protective style Always make sure to put your hair in a simple protective style that doesn't put so much stress on your hair so you don't experience hair breakage. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys.